In this modern age... Perfect. Too many people have lost sight of the true meaning of Christmas. Mom! Hush! Shut up, Ralphie! So now, in the spirit of the original... I made it, you! Stop! Tradition. American Christmas. Thanks a lot! MGM presents A Christmas Story. Hello again. This is Dr. Daniel Gillenwater here at Eastern Oaks Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama. And this is your PSA, or Practical Sermon Application, for the week of November 25th, 2012. Hope you enjoy that short clip of the 1983 movie A Christmas Story. If you were here this past Sunday, you saw a little bit longer version of that clip as we began a brand new series titled, Not A Christmas Story, but The Christmas Story. One of the things we did on Sunday was we noticed some similarities between the movie A Christmas Story and The Christmas Story that we find in Scripture. This past Sunday, we talked about preparation. We noticed that in the movie, the main character, Ralphie, prepared in every way he could to get exactly what he wanted for Christmas. Likewise, we noticed that when we read the Old Testament prophecies of the coming Messiah, the coming of Jesus Christ, that God put forth a lot of preparation to prepare the way for the Savior of the world. He prepared His people. He prepared the place, Bethlehem. He prepared the person in Jesus Christ, the perfect Savior of the world. One of the prophecies we looked at this past Sunday was one of my favorites. It's in Isaiah chapter 9. In Isaiah chapter 9, we read this prophecy about the Messiah. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. On the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. What an amazing prophecy. 700 years before the birth of Christ, Isaiah prophesies that a son is going to be born, a child is going to be born, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God did everything he could to prepare for that first Christmas. God left nothing to chance. Everything was planned according to his perfect plan. As we begin the Christmas season this year, I ask you this. Are you prepared to celebrate Christmas? Not are you prepared to do your Christmas shopping, or are you prepared to have a Christmas party, or are you prepared to decorate your house for Christmas? There's nothing wrong with these things. But when I ask you, are you prepared to celebrate Christmas, I'm asking you this morning, are you prepared to worship the Christ of Christmas? You see, too often we put forth too much effort to prepare for the holiday of Christmas, but we don't put forth enough effort to prepare for the Christ of Christmas. I encourage you this Christmas, prepare to celebrate Jesus Christ. Prepare your heart. Prepare your family. Prepare your schedule. Don't get too busy this Christmas season. Make time for Jesus Christ. Prepare to worship Him. To enjoy Him this Christmas season. After all, as the old saying goes, He is the reason for the season. Hope you have a great week. I look forward to talking to you again soon.